He took out the Black Knight also. Probably because of the uh, no druid action. Alright, so I'll take out the for the Harrow. And the option to trade Azure Drake for a Brawl. I'll take that. Okay. Uh, this is actually Kid Katz's deck exactly now, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it is. But I will keep it as the ironically named Miracle Rogue is gone because I will queue into a Miracle Rogue right now. Whoa. I should keep big game. No. Mm, could be a token drin. Oh, it is. Wait, it's aggro drin. Wait, what? Druid runs Leopard now. That had to be done. That's pretty scary. Double Leopard Nome to power the wild. Maybe. My gosh, all the hunters have dispersed. And now it's all. Wait, why am I playing Warrior? One of the good matchups on Warrior is Hunter. Wait, that probably means Zoo is really good. Or, no, not Zoo, but... Rather... Handlock. Since Handlock is also good against... Um, Miracle. Though I don't have much experience with the Handlock. One of the weaknesses of Handlock was... Uh, It's too greedy to wait. I actually considered not using Whirlwind. I was like, what are, what are you doing, Trump? This uh, deck doesn't currently exist in the metagame. What he's playing. Some sort of very fast. Deck. To me. I mean, the more typical card that you would see a token druid deck run would be Argent Squire instead of Leopard. Oh gosh, it's going to claw my face. This game. What in the world? Up. 
definitely uh, bring the aggression. I considered sacking the Acolyte of Pain just for one card draw, but I would hope to do better than that. If I hit that cat, and I'll go down to six after I armor up. Oh, thank goodness. That's the card I wanted to see. Hit it first still. Even though I could draw him into something. Which is a better answer. Uh, it's important to hit first as... The Alex Straza coming in to heal me will be game over. His deck's too fast to have any late game, so I'm okay with being quite wasteful. Starfall is pretty out of place. Ancient of Lore kind of out of place also. Um, yeah, I'm lost. I, I don't know what's going on. Whatever, it's a in... it's... It's like everything. This druid has every card. Is that possible? Gosh, it's a big game hunter will now. Why are you running leper? What what ah! Disaster for him. Goodbye. I've got the beast in my stay. I'm made to fit. <laughs> There's... I must you know, if the Leopard Gnomes were just traded for the Ardent Squires, I think I could understand the deck. It would be a, a value Druid deck. I can kind of. Interesting. Hmm. If only I knew how to play handlock, I'd play that. No, it's too too early to switch. Well, all the hunters appear to be gone. Let's let me uh, check this against reference sheets. Soul Fire, Mortal Coil, Ancient Watcher, Blood Mage. Well, this is swapped for an Owl, Sun Fury, Earthen, Hellfire, Shadow. What in the world is this list? Whatever, this seems fun. Uh, this is old school ish, but good enough.
curses! Malfurion! That's a good matchup. Your soul shall be mine! Twilight Drake could run into Keeper, but we take the risk anyways. Wow, sweet. I'll probably play a uh, turn three Drake still there. Yeah. It's a nice hand. So if I go turn three Drake, uh, it means. Glory to the Sindora. Oh, Blood Knight. That must be some innovation against all of the. Zoo out there. This is like keeper or big advantage me. And if keeper, then meh, annoying. You love my new oh. Things just got weird. Alright, so tap Ancient Watcher, that would make this cost 4, and then I play this, it would cost 5, I play it next turn. Oh my gosh, science. Whoa, what is going on? Why is this the ogre? Wah! I don't understand. Everyone's to next level now. Disaster. I blinked and the metagame changed. Wait, why? Maybe this guy was running Hunter and then he's like, oh, let's play Ogre. It's sort of fun with uh, no hunters around, huh? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I tap and then that costs 3. Or it costs yes. And then. But I probably should play it on 4 anyways. So I can play Ancient Watcher. Um, and I don't want to tie. Do not want to taunt Mountain Giant in case he runs Black Knight, though. Who runs Black Knight nowadays? Nobody. Could have also done uh, Ancient Watcher, Defender of Argus, that would save myself 7 hit points. Debatable. Could be better. Although I do have a Mountain Giant. Four seven. All right. My shield for Argon. My eyes are open. <laughs> Who dares? I say ooh, but it's not that scary. Kinda scary. Wait, do I have leap now? Wait. 8, 10, 16, 20. Oh my gosh. Gross. Yeah. Cool.
versus Valera. Hmm. Watch your review. Your soul shall be mine. Why they should be quite good. Cool, got the Twilight and the Mountain Giant. I don't know which one to play. And it'll probably be more obvious. The pleasure is mine. I wonder which one's the default though. Like if your opponent has nothing out. Probably the Mountain Giant. Yeah. It's gotta be. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now it is worth mentioning that I consider myself a novice at this deck. But I think it has possibilities right now. So the downside to Mountain Giant is it gets sapped, the downside to Drake is it gets sapped. Uh, or Owl. No one runs Owl. Well, that's pretty obvious. Play the big card to put pressure on him more. One sap down. It's good news, kind of. Good and bad news. A little bit of both. Hmm, if I get it sapped again, then I'll discard, but that's okay, because then I'll play Twilight Drake the next turn, and then I'll play uh, Twilight Drake, Sun Fury, and then I can't lose, theoretically. The other kind of wimpier play is to just play Sun Fury now. I'll, I'll wimp out. Yeah, I mean, no reason to... Uh, the 2-3 is kind of helpful anyways. I wonder if I have lethal the next turn. That's 10, 16, 24. It's quite close. Soul Fire must be correct. Probably do it first because discarding a Twilight Drake's fun. This deck's pretty awesome. You might consider backstabbing my T3. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm a hunter and I just switched to the Miracle Rogue deck. I have no idea what's going on. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Actually, I should tap first in Twilight Drake, so it's biggest, and then Soulfire. Hamlock lose against Miracle. Well, I mean, this this is a pretty spectacular draw, though. I got the best deals anywhere. Pretty much sap or lose. Uh, not true. Yeah, okay, you can do that. Eviscerate Evis. Whoa. Alright, well, I guess you lost. 12 14. I mean, he doesn't have to know that I can do 6 damage. It's actually pretty unlikely based on my play, and statistically less possible. So that's preparation sap for I win. Oh. Hooray. Leroy Jenkins. Shall be mine. Oh, hello. All right, there was this uh, weird thing about going second. I think I might want to coin tap. So it's four, and then turn one, I have five, turn two, six, turn two, three, seven. Turn four eight, that's without tapping, which would make Mountain Giant cost four if I didn't tap at all. What? Whatever, I'm too uh noob to use the coin tap strat. We have I'll just probably not tap one turn. I wonder if I play in oh, Mortal Coil, that works. That actually is really good. Next turn I tap Mortal Coil. Wait, that doesn't work. Wait, maybe I should coin. Oh crap! Passed too early. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There was this thing about going second where you can't do stuff. I uh, wonder if Mortal Coil Engine Watcher works. No, I don't think so. So it already costs four. Oh wow, that's no. So if I play Owl and Mortal Coil, I'll go six and then five. So next turn will cost four. That's pretty good. Sweet. Deny him a draw. Yeah, that's useful. It's all about trying to figure out how to get the Mountain Giant to be cast on turn 4 without going over the hand limit. Uh, welcome to Valley Town, the La Bungle. I've got the beast in my. Oh my gosh! Why is he running? Uh, that sucks. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Oh, 
hellfire. There's hellfire. Big Game Hunter is clearly an excellent innovation if he expects to chase a lot. Oh, he's value rogue. Wait, no. I don't know. It's hard to say. Oh, the face! Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's clearly not a... Oh. Okay. Bam! Eat that. If you had that much trouble clearing the previous card, this card should, uh... Oh, I should have tapped first! What am I doing? The tap is free. I forgot that. Although, perhaps I don't need to tap. Nah, it's still need to not tap. Right? Pretty sweet. Oh my gosh, I'm really close to winning. Um. Well, oh yeah, this is uh, this play is internally in actually faceless manipulator, of course. And ancient watcher. I don't need to tap anymore. I've got all the cards I need. It's a pretty obvious win the next turn. Unless I die. I don't understand what his deck is actually. So many hmm. possibilities. Considering that I need to heal. So I'm at eleven against three cards. And he didn't have the direct damage to take down a giant earlier. It would have to be pretty unlikely for me to lose, but I could play the odds. I mean, if I 8-14, but, oh, 8-14, but I need to in order to win the next turn. It would be pretty silly not to hunt for the win. Here's the thing about healing instead of, a, like, going for the win. If I go for the win, I win next turn, but if I heal, then I might not win next turn. It's as simple as that. You gotta have some soul, yo. Well, anyways. That's a 8, 16, 20. Plus, his deck didn't look like a miracle. Well, I just won like five games in a row. Pretty sweet. Oh my gosh, hunters are dead. What? Anyways, thank you for watching. I'm heading off to play Dungeons and Dragons, in which I will be a dungeon master.